And now to the Trump presidency and a change in policy announced today for Americans who travel to Cuba. It will impact everything from where people are allowed to stay to what they're allowed to buy while in Cuba. CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez in the control room with the details. Elliot. Well, Rick, the Trump administration is making good on a promise made five months ago when President Trump paid a visit to Little Havana and vowed to roll back the Obama era policy of opening up relations with Cuba. The new regulations were announced today during a conference call I took part in with officials from the White House and the Departments of State, Commerce, and the Treasury. I am so thrilled to be back here. In June, President Trump promised Miami Cuban Americans he would crack down on travel to Cuba. I am canceling the last administration's completely one-sided deal with Cuba. Today, the administration followed up, not canceling, but adjusting regulations on who can travel to Cuba, where they can stay, and what they can buy. The so-called Cuba restricted list includes 80 hotels, 10 stores, five marinas, and two tourist agencies. Also off limits are two brands of rum, rum cane and rum varadero, and soft drinks, hupina and tropicola. In Cuba, even luxury hotels like the luxurious Gran Manzana Kempinski in Old Havana are operated by the military, which the University of Miami's Andy Gomez points out keeps Raul Castro in power. They are entities run by the military through their group CAESA, and then their retired military officers that also are in the private business are running hotels, restaurants, and whatever not. So, yes. They control about 65% of the economy. The new regs were announced the same day a poll was released on the feelings of Miami's Cuban-American community. The group Inspire America polled Cuban-American registered voters. It found that 58% support new sanctions on Cuba. 26% want even tougher sanctions. And 52% want Cuba back on the list of countries that support terrorism. Americans visiting the island see things a little differently. As far as I'm concerned, based on what I've seen so far in Cuba, I think we ought to open up the United States to Cuba and vice versa. Okay, this guy is, is, a, is a Cuban, and he's, he's an excellent guide, and he's really helped us understand, you know, what's going on in this country. And that's, that's I think, got to be done more open to, especially to Americans. Now, our news partners of the Miami Herald report that Florida Senator Marco Rubio believes the new regulations do not go far enough in restricting travel to Cuba. Rubio reportedly blames bureaucrats in the State Department for watering down what he felt should have been tougher sanctions. Meantime, administration officials say the new regulations have nothing to do with the mysterious attacks on American diplomats in Havana. The new regulations go into effect tomorrow.